but we also find out that no matter how packaged how well packaged and beautiful beautifully presented a product is if its quality is does not represent what the advert says what the product on the uh, the presentation says it, we all know that that product is doomed the company is doomed so that means no matter how how packaged or how how much you spend on your personal beauty no matter how much you spend on your body or and and, and buy expensive clothes in all the attempt to package yourself in a social in a socially acceptable dignifying and, and presentable manner but one thing you should ask yourself is this when this man gets to know the real me will he still want me will he still like me will he still wants to stay with me ask yourself that question so you see the reason why so many relationships do not work out is because some ladies spend their time and money working on their outward self outward appearance and they fail to work on their inner self their inner beauty which is which is really what every man is after every man a good man reasonable mature man is after your inner quality your inner self your inner beauty that's what he's after so spending so much money on the outward appearance spending so much money on your physical physics your up uh, your beauty your your clothes and everything is a good thing but it's not enough you have to strike the balance you have to make the balance you have to work on yourself inner self your character your personal character is called your self image your inner self image your character is very important well, of course i understand that your, your clothes attract men to you but when they meet the when they meet the real you what will they discover in your mind what will be the results what's the product of your mind you see that your emotions what's the product of it how would they how would they as ascertain or or evaluate your spiritual spirituality your your spiritual self that, that's your real you how would they how would they examine it how would they how would they evaluate it what is the character of your mind these are the things you need to understand you see when you position yourself for the right kind of man in your life you must first of all understand that there are certain things you must engage you cannot listen you cannot buy a designer dress and and wear it on a poorly developed character it is not done it won't work you cannot wear a sexy skirt and, and top to compensate for your immaturity and poor social skills and hey, no it's not done see it takes time and commitment for you to develop your inner self you see it may not be easy but if you want to connect with a good man who will stay with you for the rest of your life you need to invest in your inner self you, you understand your inner qualities your character your personality you understand it this is what you need you see you may not understand that this is very important but this is what is important your self image that's the first step your personal character you have to work on your personal character you position yourself for the right man for the good man check your personal character how are you on your attitudes how are you like how are you like see men are initially attracted to your physical for your to you physically we understand to your physical beauty that's natural in fact <laughs> if a man is not attracted to you through your physical appearance or by your physical appearance first that man is not is not the man for you first the man comes into your life is attracted into you by your physical appearance it is your physical appearance 
that drags, that pulls the man into your life first. That pulls him into you. That's the first place, the first step. Then, the man will begin to discover whether he could stay with you or not by your personal qualities. This has nothing to do again with your personal character. I mean, with your uh, with your physical uh, uh, appearance. No, it has to do now with your personal character. Whether the man is going to stay with you or not, it depends on how good is your character. What is the character of your mind? What is the character of your attitude? What's your attitude like? No matter how sexy you may look. Your physical beauty can never cause a man to stay with you for the rest of your life. I want you to understand that. What will compel him to stay with you are your inner qualities. Your inner qualities are the things that will compel him to stay with you. Listen, I understand this. You also know that you were born with, with, um, with your outward beauty. That's natural. That's your physical qualities and they are the result of your genetic means between your mom and your dad that's what you gain from your parents but that's not enough yes your physical appearance has brought the man into your life a lot of times it doesn't base on only on physical appearance he does base a lot on your personal qualities your inner qualities you see, your inner beauty, on the other hand, is your sole responsibility. I want you to understand it. You listen. You are, you are, <laughs> the determinant of your personal beauties. You are your determinant. You are the one who is responsible on how beautiful you want to be in your inside. Your inner beauties are your responsibility. So, it is your responsibility to develop it. If you don't develop your inner beauties, you have a problem with dealing with your relationship, especially finding the good man. So, develop your inner qualities that people will, so that people will find you attractive, compelling, and irresistible. You need it. That's what you need. When you study, if you're if you're a Bible a Bible a Bible student, when you study First Peter chapter three, from verse three to five, you will see how how beautiful God wants a woman to look. Her inner beauties, the quality of an inner beauty, the quality of a woman, her inner qualities, your personal character. You'll be amazed. What what? Is expected of you and how you can pull the right man the good man into your life listen you cannot keep on using your beauty as a compensation for your poorly developed character it is not done this strategy will not work for you for too long when people discover who you really are this spell will be broken over their minds and they will keep their distance from you and that's that's the that's a disaster that's that's the problem with it so that's why i'm sharing this with you so that you can work on your personal character if you want to if you want to take if you want to take your relationship a serious take your relationship seriously or you want to engage in a social relationship seriously you must have something of value to offer Relationship are all about the value you offer the people you are intimately involved with. That's what relationship is all about. The value you have to offer. What are you worth? What are your values? What do you have to offer to others? What would they gain from getting in contact with you? What impact would your life, would your life make in them? What would they gain from you? This has nothing to do with your physical appearance. This has a lot to do with your personal inward character. Your personality. Your inward self. Your inner self. Your personal character. Your attitudes. Some women's attitudes are very, very poor. Very, very bad. 
so arrogant, so abusive. 